The following file is affected by a Class 1 info hazard. The normal presentation of this document has been altered through anonymous means. This is considered normal and is not cause for alarm. Item Number SCP-4494 Anomaly Class Archon Note, Archon Class Anomalies are anomalies that should not be contained due to damage that would be caused by doing so. Special Containment Procedures Direct indices to SCP-4494 Related activity are to be anesthetized as necessary. No actions are to be taken against SCP-4494 by Foundation personnel at this time. Description SCP-4494 is a physical embodiment of the concept of fighting crime. SCP-4494 typically manifests at night during law enforcement actions in which the relevant criminal element has an advantage in order to render aid. It appears as a humanoid male of indeterminate age, wearing a wide-brimmed hat and long coat, and calls itself the Spectre. Once it has successfully aided the relevant party, it will demanifest, though it has been known to hold brief conversations with people present beforehand. Note the content of these conversations has typically been noted as jarring or surprising. SCP-4494 also possesses a number of minor physical anomalies. It absorbs a significant portion of light across the visible spectrum, causing it to appear almost entirely black, and is able to alter the length of its cloak at will, an ability it seemingly only uses for dramatic flush. Additionally, it possesses minor info-hazardous properties. When referred to in text, the reference will always appear in stylistic and dramatic font, and speakers invariably use a dramatic whisper when referring to SCP-4494 verbally. Should SCP-4494 be prevented from successfully aiding the group that triggered its manifestation, the entire concept of attempting to prevent illegal activity begins to break down. This occurs in an ever-expanding area around SCP-4494, the size of which increases at a rate of approximately 100 kilometers per hour. People within this area no longer conceptualize the belief that crime is something which can be stopped, leading to the immediate cessation of all civilian, local, and governmental law enforcement activity by affected people. To date, the only method of reversing this effect is to allow SCP-4494 to successfully aid law enforcement in preventing a crime in progress. Thus, it is believed that should be the effect of impeding SCP-4494 become global, it will become irreversible. It should be noted that while SCP-4494 appears to consider the Foundation a law enforcement organization, Law enforcement is not the mandate of the Foundation, and as such, Foundation personnel in the field are rarely significantly impacted by this effect. SCP-4494 Failure Timeline The following table contains observed results of SCP-4494 failure within a single city. Time since failure, hours, minutes. Result, two minutes. Law enforcement activities cease. 5 minutes. Local police forces are unfortunately disbanded, unable to comprehend the nature of the job. 10 minutes. Violent incidents and traffic accidents skyrocket as the local populace no longer possesses any conception of consequence for legal activity. 30 minutes. Criminal elements become exceedingly active. No one in the city can conceive of the idea that they should be stopped. 1 hour 20 minutes. Full-scale looting begins. 2 hours. Local media begins musing on the event, unable to conceptualize what has changed that has led to the current situation. SCP-4494 failure has not been allowed to continue beyond this point to date. Addendum. The following is a transcript of a typical SCP-4494 encounter by Foundation personnel. To date, 
seven such encounters have occurred outside of the initial attempts at containment. Offense transcript. Notes. MTF Sigma-12, Mary's Little Lambs, was engaged in a raid on a facility believed to be manufactured and distributing an anonymous narcotic known as WAP. They were pinned down when the occupants of the facility unexpectedly began using anonymous weaponry. Team consists of five members. Transcript begins. Crap! Ferraris is down! Take cover! A beam of white energy silently dematerializes a section of the crate Holtz hiding behind. Where the frick did they get those things? We're meant to be dealing with a lower level drug runners here. Who cares? Just take them out! Alert peeks around the vehicle being used for cover and fires another shot. Audio recorders pick up a cry of pain, suggesting a hit. Two white beams of energy strike the area, dematerializing Alert and the vehicle. Alert is down! We need to vote! A white beam of energy heads Cranston, dematerializing her. A thick fog begins to coalesce on the ground. It begins quickly filling the facility. Frick! Frick! Samper! We need to retreat! We're three down, and they've deployed some kind of gas weapon! Criminals! Evil doors! Samper's helmet hatches a flash of movement as something appears to drop from the singing rafters to the ground with a thud. Denizens of the night, your time has come for you, face! Sound of impact, followed by muffled cries of pain can be heard in the distance. The Spectre! What the frick is that? Take it out! Take it! A gurgled cry is heard. What the hell is this now? Who's the Spectre guy? Wait, what the frick? Crap, we got a second dev we are normally on the scene. Wait, I think I've been free from this thing. It's... We are not agents of justice. Aid is at hand. The fog rapidly dissipates. A black figure can be seen in the distance, engaging three hostiles in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Whatever. Seems like it's on our side. Let's get the job done. A brief firefight ensues, the surviving members of MTF Sigma-12 able to successfully use the distraction caused by SCP-4494 to re-engage the hostiles. Repeated sounds of impact followed by cries of pain, along with the number of gunshots from mundane firearms are detected from the direction of SCP-4494. After approximately 40 seconds, all hostiles are neutralized. Justice is served. The streets are no longer being plagued by these devils and their foul poisons. Hey, we're going to need you to come. Sampa grabs Holtz by your arm and currently shakes his head. Thank you. We, uh, we couldn't have done this without you. Hmm. Oh yeah, don't worry about it. Someone's got to help deal with these guys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So when you aren't here, you know, doing your thing, what do you do? Oh, you know, watch TV, browse the internet, sometimes play some video games. Video games? Aren't you like the embodiment of justice or something? Yeah, and us, the embodiment of justice. Let me tell you, that new Spider-Man game, freaking good stuff. You played it? No, we don't really have much time for video games. That's a shame. Justice loves video games in here. I see. Well, thanks for your help, I guess. <coughs> Worry not. Wherever darkest falls, wherever injustice seeks to prevail, those who serve good will always have an ally in the Spectre! SCP-4494 spins its coat billowing dramatically and obscuring the cameras of both Holt and Samper. When the official returns, SCP-4494 is gone. Transcript ends.